Hey there, it's Laura, and we're going to look at some deep stretches now from the floor. So let's just find ourselves here in our own time, making sure that we're on our sit bones. And these are just some deep stretches that we can do as part of a regular yoga class, particularly after we've done some sun salutations maybe. Um, we can also do this particular um, routine after a good run or any other kind of workout that we may have done. Let's just begin here getting in touch with our breath. We really do want to focus on our breath with our deep stretches. Now let's begin to think about our exhale. And with each exhale, let's sink. We want to find ourselves sinking so that we can really work out the flexibility. And let's just begin with a basic forward fold, legs out in front of us. Ribs going toward our hips, followed by our head. And again, just think about sinking with each exhale. Seeing if we can sink a little bit more each time. Now let's lift up from here and go ahead and take it wide. And same thing, we're going to fold down the center. Exhale and sink. See if we can relax our muscles with each inhale and sink a little more with our exhales. At some point we will hit our limit. Now let's walk ourselves over to one leg, either leg. We're going to do the other one next. Let's go ahead and walk ourselves around to the other leg. Let's bring it back to the center. And we'll sit up. Let's lengthen up tall this time. And we're going to reach up and we're going to go sideways over that first leg. So let's begin actually by reaching for the ceiling, sliding out our hand down toward our foot. We may find that we have enough opening here. But we can also choose to take it a little further if we wish. Let's bring it back up tall. Let's reach the other hand to the ceiling. Slot our other hand down to our foot. And again, just begin here opening up, seeing how this feels. And if we're feeling it, take it a little further. Let's bring it up. We'll bring our legs together. We're going to go ahead and take it over onto our hands and knees just so we can lower down onto our belly. And we're going to shrug our shoulder blades together, untuck our toes, and let's lift up, bringing our elbows underneath our shoulders. And just notice how we like to sink here. Let's draw our shoulders down and our head up, keeping our gaze straight ahead. This time, let's think about expanding with our inhale. And let's lower down and take a rest.
And we'll bring our hands back into our shoulders, kneeling forward and up, elbows under our shoulders. Again, drawing the shoulders down, head up. Let's check in with our lower back here, see how we're feeling. And if we're feeling it, we can begin to lift our elbows. If, however, we feel our lower back talking to us, let's make sure to come back down. And let's all bring it back down, all the way down, and rest. And one more time, let's bring our hands under our shoulders. If you like the elbows under the shoulders, go back there. Otherwise, we're gonna lift. See if we can hold our cobra. And let's lower down and rest one more time. Taking our hands under our shoulders, let's press up. Come to our child's pose for just a moment. And we're actually gonna walk our hands off one side of the mat, dropping our tailbone to the other side. So we should be feeling a big stretch along the side of our body. And let's take that to the other side. Come back to the center, bring yourselves up. And let's come around and have a seat. Whatever is comfortable. <clears throat> let's just make sure that we're on our sit bones. We're lengthening out through the crown of our head. And let's just take an easy twist over to one side. So one hand comes to the opposite knee, other hand is up near our bottom. And we're gonna look out over our shoulder. And again, let's lengthen in the center. We're going to reach around to the other side, hand to opposite knee, other hand to our bottom, looking out over our shoulder. So we're going to go ahead and roll on down to the floor now for a few more stretches. Let's bring our legs together. We're going to take support underneath one leg. We're going to tuck our tailbone and roll back. And then once we're here, let's hug our knees and rock. Or we can keep our feet on the floor and rock. Or we can just kick everything up in the air. Let's go ahead and take our feet to the ceiling. We're going to cross one leg over the other in our figure four, and we're going to reach our hands out to the same side thighs and hug our legs in toward our body. And again, let's think about that sinking breath. With each exhale, see if we can sink our knees in closer to our body. Staying relaxed in our feet. And let's release from here, taking hold of our thighs and just drawing our knees back down toward our chest. Let's wiggle our feet. 
rotating at our ankles. Then we'll bring both feet up again. Let's cross the other leg over in that figure four. And again, we're gonna reach out, hug our legs in. So let's bring our feet to the floor, hands down by our side, and we want to walk back until we can touch our fingers and our heels. From here, let's push our feet into the floor, lifting our hips up to the ceiling. <clears throat> lower down from here we're going to hug our knees in and again rock here shake it out and we're going to glue our knees together open our arms wide and we're going to lower our knees all the way over to one side and just letting them come all the way down we can use a block or a blanket here and breathing as deeply as we can Drawing in from our navel, let's come back up to the center, rock for just a moment, or we can take a big long stretch. And let's bring our knees back in, squeeze them together, let's open our arms, and we're going to lower over to the other side. And just making sure we get both shoulders down. Hugging in from our navel. Let's take it to that long stretch this time, reaching our hands and feet away from each other. And release. So we're going to take it to our final relaxation from here. And if you have stuff that you want to use, pillows, blocks, things like that, go ahead and get that stuff together. Let's just find a place on our backs. Of course, if you're more comfortable on your belly or your side, you can take it there. But let's just draw our feet away from us if we're here. We also can bring our knees up. Allowing our head to roll back. Let's go ahead and close our eyes. And feel ourselves sink with each exhale. So on our next exhale, let's let our legs sink into the floor. And then we're going to let our torso sink into the floor. On our next exhale, our arms will sink. Allowing our head to rest where it is. Clearing our mind. Relaxing in our breath. And just finding a little moment of peace.
Let's go ahead and breathe into our belly. Starting to wiggle our fingers and toes. Moving up our arms and legs. And just move in whatever way our body is feeling. And when we're ready, we'll hug our knees and roll over to one side. We want to stay here for at least three breaths, just to give our body a chance to orient and wake up a little more. And when we feel ready, we can use our top hand and press ourselves up very slowly. And coming back to whatever sitting position is comfortable. Lengthening through our spine. Taking a moment to check in, see how we're feeling. And let's take an inhale together. Exhaling hands to our heart. Thank you for joining me today. Namaste.